morning, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Thursday. Welcome back to another day in the market. We had some interesting data be released this morning. We have a lot to talk about with that. We got, I think it was like Q4 PCE. It kind of freaked me out a little bit when I saw the PCE data come in uh, because I was like, hold on, aren't we getting PCE tomorrow when the market's closed? But I believe it was Q4 PCE, uh, which actually is painting an interesting picture. It's not as relevant as what we're going to be getting tomorrow, but it is still important. Uh, we got the GDP revisions as well, which were very interesting to take a look at. We saw the market absolutely rip yesterday. I mean, all of you guys that were uh, were taking advantage of the strategy that I give you guys in the Day Trading Mastery course, uh, it took forever, but I mean, you ended up getting that 22.25 points on ES, or in other words, about 220% on that trade there, on that second half of that position. Uh, after the first take profit at around 100 11 percent 110 percent there so that's pretty good but team it is that time of day again if you guys would actually no you guys have to do this say good morning to somebody in the live chat if you guys would like to say good morning to me as well let's do a little bit of a roll call if you guys are new here let me know i'd love to welcome you guys to the stream and as always if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that like button on the way in helps out a whole lot getting these streams out to some more people if you guys are new, you guys are in for a treat, man. I mean, it's very hard for me to kind of explain all of the different things that I do in the market in a very quick video on Instagram and TikTok. So let's put on a show for you guys today. So after we do the roll call here, we're going to go through some of the data, uh, kind of what I'm looking at for today, go over some charts here that either I'm already in or I'm really interested in, uh, and then we'll get ready for market open. Oh, we got a lot of you guys in here today. Welcome, everybody. We got Boric, Michael, Starsky. Daily Taylor, Ryan, for, first time here. What's up, man? How you doing? Uh, Romeo, Dr. Bob, Daily Taylor, Samuel, Andrew, James, Eddie, Jay, Daniel, again, uh, Caesar, Brozio, Alex, uh, Andrew, Eddie, another Eddie, Chris, Michael, Daily Taylor, again, good morning, everybody. Welcome to all the new people, all the OGs. Make sure they feel nice and warm and welcome. Uh, thoughts on Snow Weekly? Uh, needs a bit more time. CEO just purchased 5 million shares. Ooh. That's interesting. If it was a, like a direct purchase, I'd be interested in that. Snow, actually, yeah, I needed to shift trend first. I mean, I need this thing to at least start to get up above either this level right here, this 168 area, or even this that we have marked out here. I don't even know why this is here. I mean, that's kind of this level from the past. We don't really need any of these here. Um, but I mean, I I'm not, I don't really just want to be willy nilly buying the dip here. So let's go over a little bit of. Let's see. Good morning. You made RKT. Oh, I know you did. Yeah, that was the one that I was hunting. And as soon as it started to get going yesterday, uh, obviously you guys saw on the Instagram stories that I was in that and on Twitter too. Those contracts right now, well, at close yesterday they were up eighty five percent. So. Those are looking pretty good. The shares trade that I had is looking like it wants to run to that first take profit there, which will be really good. Uh, Kava also is looking really good up here above some of these levels. Oh, there it goes. If this thing starts to get some steam here, oh, that's going to be a fun one. But again, ooh, you guys are slacking a little on the like button. I see. All right. I see how it is. All right. Let's see. Let's go through some of the data here. Uh, news feed. Let's see where we got. So US PCE prices in Q4, the actual was an increase of 1.8% versus the 2.6% previous and the estimate was 1.8. Remember the Fed's 2% long run inflation target? Well, that's below that target in the fourth quarter. Uh, US core PCE prices, the actual was about 2% versus 2% previous. The estimate was 2.1. So you're seeing the PCE data come in a little bit lower than expected here, but that's for Q4. Remember, we saw two um, two CPI reports in a row that were hot, higher than expected. Um, and with what the Fed needs to see in order to start cutting rates, well, what they've said they need to see in order to start cutting rates, which is very different from what is the reality of the situation here, uh, they need inflation to continue coming down. Now, for those of you guys that are new, when I say inflation is coming down, it does not mean that the prices of things are going down. All that means is that the rate at which they're increasing is slowing. So imagine if you have, let's say, a portfolio that's increasing by 10% per year, and all of a sudden it's now going up 5% per year. Well, the rate of growth has slowed, but you're still going up in terms of prices. So just to make that clear for everybody. But what everybody was really looking for this morning was that GDP data. Uh, US GDP annualized quarter over quarter, Q4 actual 3.4% uh, versus 3.2 previous, estimated 3.2. So GDP growth came in a little bit higher than expected. 
Now, remember in the Fed meeting, what was that, last week? Yeah, last week where Powell said that he was really expecting, market's coming up a little, um, he he was expecting GDP growth to slow going into the end of this year um, and also unemployment to go up. Now, all of the, the data and all of the signs don't necessarily point to that. Um, they don't point, we'll take a look at Celsius too. That's an interesting one. Um, the data doesn't really point to those, uh, to, to GDP growth slowing and unemployment going up. So unless somehow the Fed is seeing something that we don't, they're kind of talking out of their, you know what? Um, and the other thing too, is, is that again, leading up into that period of like this last month and a half where we've seen the Fed say, well, they need to, they need Powell, this is kind of, it's. I'm paraphrasing, but this is the quote that he said. He said, we don't need the data to be great. We just need it to be good in order to start cutting rates. Um, well, that's not what we saw. We didn't see the data actually come out at that good range. So, but what happened at the last Fed meeting? Well, they kept the 325 basis point cut uh, expectation for this year. Uh, and he was, and then when he talked about that unemployment number where he was like, oh, I think it's going to get up to four and a half percent. And that's going to be kind of where we start to look at cutting rates. And it's like, well, then the reporter asked the question of, well, is that really one of the big determining factors? And he was like, mm, not really. And it was like, what are you saying then, dude? So to me, I think the market is kind of showing everybody that they don't really, the Fed's credibility is really at like the all time low here. Um, and it just seems like they're itching to cut rates. You guys heard me over the last few weeks, uh, after that CPI report, I was like, I, I don't know, man, I, we need to kind of wait and see what's going to happen with the fed to see if Powell's going to shift his tone. And I actually thought he was going to, I thought Powell was going to come out and say, yeah, I mean, it's not looking too good. We might hold rates higher for long. No, it's not what he said, even though the data is pointing to that being the logical conclusion. So Pump it, I guess. We turn on the money printer. I also think there's some China stimmy going on right now. Uh, I believe the Chinese, the like Chinese government is starting to buy bonds again. I thought I saw that somewhere. Let's see here. Uh, Celsius. Let's take a look at that one. Uh, C E L H. I know this thing's been on an absolute ripper. Uh, this thing is moving to the. This could be a weekly setup that's forming. Yeah, give this thing a few weeks. You could get a nice little weekly setup on this. How does this look uh, in relation to the even? Mm, that's not good. That's not what you want to say. That's not what you want to say. So Celsius on its way down here. We'll see what happens with it. Uh, what's RKT doing? Nothing. Kava's looking really interesting here. I mean, you guys know what happened the last time that we called out Kava from what, 57 to like 65.50 here. That was an absolutely disgusting one. I've seen enough of you. Just got the bundle, Caesar. Welcome, my man. Welcome to the to the uh, to the group there, Caesar. And this goes for everybody else as well. That's taking advantage of the uh, fifty percent off deal on all the courses. Um, if you guys have any questions on anything, just shoot me a DM on Instagram or Twitter. I I might be a little bit not on my phone as much over this weekend because I have the I have like the the funeral services tomorrow, and then I'm like right on a plane at like super early the next day to Florida. So and then I'm back Monday. So it might be a little wonky this weekend, but I am going to do my best to get you guys uh, the free newsletter I give you guys every weekend and the uh, and the Swing Kings list. But what I might do um, is with PCE happening tomorrow uh, when the market is not open. Again, we like to see uh, how the market digests those pieces of data. We might end up putting out the swing list on Monday instead of Sunday. Um, because you could see some wild price action on Monday and I want to see how some charts react. So, but Caesar, welcome my man. And then let's take a look at wing. I mean, not, not for me, but if this flat lines from here, this is a nasty setup. I believe that could be all. Yeah. I mean, you, you, if you can start consolidating, right under this all-time high and then start breaking oh you could have a lot of fun there i'm already following you on x just have to follow on the other account yeah so it's at stv swing kings just shoot me a dm with your email uh so i can confirm that it's actually you um that that just hopped in and then you're good to go so you'll get the email and the uh the which call it you'll get the email and the on twitter you'll get it as well so i don't know kava looks really good um so i actually so i had let's kind of go over kava here 
So I had a little options position on Kava when we started to kind of break out here. Um, when we started to pull back here, I just took a little paper cut loss on it. Um, it happens, obviously. I'm not going to nail every single one because, again, the thought process is, is when we're swinging and when you guys see the, the swing strategy when you're hopping in there, when we have trades that are like winners, they go right away. They go right away. So if it's not going to start going in our direction right away, it doesn't make sense for me to keep holding it. Um, but what was very interesting to me yesterday is the respect that Kava had down at this 10 EMA here uh, and the little bit of a volume spike. So that's what's interesting me in this one. Um, we'll see what happens. I easily could get stopped out again. It's fine. Um, again, the, the, the risk on these is always so low when we're, when we're swinging, especially with options that again, the, the asymmetric upside that we have is always to me worth the risk. Um, uh, by buying the courses, will it show me how to set up the whole website and learn how to put in the stop loss and all that? Yeah. Yeah, it will. Um, but again, Ryan, if it's your first day here again, I don't want to pressure anybody to be buying courses or anything like that's not, I give you guys the 50% off deal if you guys are interested, but, um, like hang around here for a couple of days, couple of weeks, maybe. And then like Caesar said, like he came in, was just kind of hanging around in the live chat for a while, just to, I want you guys to see kind of what I'm all about before you hop in, because I don't want you to have a, uh, like a, a dip, a, a misunderstanding of what the courses actually are, because they're way different than anything you've probably seen from anybody else in this space here. Um, and I mean, that's one of the reasons why a lot of like the people that have, have, taking them or having so much success, but I want you to understand exactly kind of what they are. Yeah. Caesar was here for weeks before he buys and I'm live every day. I won't be live next Monday cause I'll be traveling. Um, but Tuesday we'll be back in the normal mastermind schedule with you guys, uh, next week as well. Uh, and that's when we start the real fun stuff, the, the financial education portion of it. So we did about three weeks of trading stuff and then we're really going to get going with you guys on the, uh, on the financial education, because again, it's just stuff that everybody needs to know and they don't. I, and I hate, I, I hate that people just don't teach this in college and school, uh, he, like in the, in the trading space, like we're going to have some fun with that. How's Am Amazon has my attention. Um, let's see. RKT down a little ES is looking at, this is what's telly telly came back. Telly was down. TLT was down a little in the pre-market here. Came back a little. A Scorpio? Come on, bro. What do you get? Did you bring it out the, the sides over here? That's crazy. You're hanging around with too many of them. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Uh, ES here. Uh, I don't know. We're really close to all time highs. Like, what is that? 5320 something? Yeah, 532275 is approximately the all time high. We're at 5310. Um, and then also, Ryan, you have any questions on anything I'm covering, anything I'm talking about? Just let me know. We'll probably get to like a, some trading rants today on risk management, psychology, strategy. Uh, that's usually what happens in the streams. So we'll see. I'd love to see these open positions start cooking. That'd be nice. Neo, is it dead? Yeah, it might be. It might be. Ooh, ooh. I mean, that's that's a decent candle. I kind of like that candle with high volume, but how much is it going to go? That's the problem. I'd rather get one of those on the weekly, you know? Like, because this thing has just been in such a nasty downtrend. This thing is trading at four. Looking at Miracles. See... I'm kind of on the same page with you, but you guys kind of know the thesis that I've had on Mara and what I'm looking for out of it. Um, I want this thing to fall to the 15s. I don't, I don't think we're going to get that. Um, so this might be the best opportunity that we have here with it. Um, I don't know. I want to see some further consolidation. Every single trade that I take on, Mara, like the two trades that I've taken on Mara have been absolutely ridiculous. All right. So that doesn't make sense, but because we moved this off the break even. but this one was like a one to 15. I actually should have traded the shares on this one because I was out of the options here uh, at the second TP level at about 600%, which is still really good. But this thing went absolutely nuts. When are you going to box in the trades fight club? Why would I just, I, I don't care, honestly. <laughs> like, I really just don't care. Like, what? Well, maybe, I guess. If somebody wants to box me, that's fine, but. They need to have some experience though. Like I'm not going to go in there and be like, oh yeah, 
some dude is just talking and he's never done it before because that's that's never goes well and I'm not here to hurt anybody. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, Ralph on Neo. I just I just don't like it. I don't know. It's a risky one. I mean, I would maybe shares. Maybe shares on it. Throw it in the long term, forget about it. Throw like five grand at it and just leave it alone, you know? Still have some free docus kicking around. How is that doing? Yeah, I mean, it's looking a little better now. I like this further consolidation. I mean, you guys perfectly front ran this one, uh, made it free up in here. I just, you guys know how I feel about this zone. I don't like it. <laughs> just the aggressive selling that comes out of it. I'd much rather, here's what I would love to see happen on docu. Ideally, I'm fine with missing kind of the move here up into this zone. But if you can pop into this zone, consolidate, and then get something above these levels up in here, I'd be very interested in that. It's just there's, there was so much selling pressure here, and it happened twice that I, I just am a little – the setup looks good. I just – there's not much meat on the bone if, if you're going to get rejected at this level, which we did earlier this week on Tuesday. CRVA. What's the – are you talking about Carvana? Wait, is that what you're talking about? Carvana fit flatlines a little. I'd be interested in that. You know, I'd be I'd be interested in some of that. Oh, that's weird. What the heck happened here? That's strange. Yeah, Carvana. Carvana doesn't look that bad. Um, but yeah, for those of you guys that are interested in the courses, man, uh, if you want both of them, I mean, I'm not going to charge you twice. So they're buy one, get one free, or you could view it as 50% off there too. So here's the link for that for those of you guys that are interested. Um, I mean, the day trading mastery course strategy is absolutely filthy. It's hard, like, it's so nasty that, like, I don't, it's hard for me to come out and actually say, like, how nasty it actually is because it doesn't seem believable. <laughs> Um, but like it's had just a nasty winning streak. I'll put it at that. You guys know the deal with it. Those of you guys that are in there, um, as we keep going months and months down the road, like, I, like, I, I don't want to just say like, oh, 15 winning months in a row anymore. Cause like it is, but it's hard. It, like everybody's gonna be like, no, but like, that's why I show you like that 10 months of data in there. And like all those testing just to show you like, all right, this is exactly what it is and how it performs over time. Um, and I think that testing is very helpful for you guys too, because you can see my thought process every single time I'm taking those trades. Um, and then the Swing Kings course, which you guys know the deal with that one. I send you guys the watch list all the time. We're finding stocks that are about to explode before they do. And then we nail Kaga, if Kaga, if Kava can break 70 today, that would be fun. If I make it, if I, if I go crazy again on Kava, um, I'm going to, what do you call it? I'm going to probably have to go try it because I haven't tried it yet. Uh, RKT went good yesterday as well. Yeah, I have that one. So I actually rolled, I ditched the rest of it, rolled it to shorter expirations for next week, which I might then end up rolling those. We'll see what happens today. I'm, pl I'm playing around with the RKTs because it looks good. I just needed to, uh, hey, hey, RKT, what the heck happened there, pal? What is that? No, I think that's a glitch. Because on, on uh, Weeble, it says it's up. On TradingView, it says it's getting boot. I'm not going to say that. It's getting slapped. <laughs> uh, thoughts on QQQ? I mean, I don't really trade QQQ ever. But, I mean, it's just kind of kind of move with the overall market. It's going to depend on, like, all the tech names in there. So, you're at the point where you know it can keep going, but believe it has to level out. Well, it easily could. It's just uh, Dunn sent the message to X. Stupid thing uh, wanted to block your account. Oh, God. Caesar, I got you. I'll do that after the stream. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't really look at QQQ very much. And I'm not, again, I trade uh, very differently than a lot of other people do. Um, I actually don't care where the market is for day trading. I don't care where the market is. I don't care what it's doing. I, I have a, a back tested system that I overlay onto the charts. Um, and let it go. I, I really don't care about anything else happening. Um, and that's kind of why I, it's, 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 you gotta be trading. And I've said this before, but here comes the, here come the trading rants guys. 
uh, you cannot trade with this. If you're, if you're day trading, you cannot use your discretion at all. Zero. It has to be all systematic, meaning that your system is the one telling you what to do all of the time. There's no, oh, I think this is going to happen or, oh, I think it's going to respect this level. That's mm -mm, none of that. You have to have a very, very well thought out, back-tested, repeatable system that's very simple. And that's how you're able to have success over time. It's not, ooh, maybe this could keep going. Because the problem is, is most people will come in, and here's another thing. People will come into the live chat sometimes and say, and it's a valid question, but it's also not. They say, I have problems selling too early. And I go, to me, that doesn't make any sense, logically. Because selling too early would mean that you're either not following your rules and holding to your targets, or you don't even have targets. Both of them are bad. Uh, in your courses, do you teach which strike prices and expiration dates to choose? Yes. Yes, I do. So you need to reevaluate your system. I mean, if it's working for you, fine. But like the thing is, is that if you think about markets in that way, it's like, think about that, that question. It's like, I struggle with selling too early. And it's like, well, you should have your targets already set. So if you're selling before your targets, that's a problem that you're not following your system and you're using your discretion, bad. Then it, on the other side, it's like, well, you're just in the trade and then you're like, all right, when do I sell? When do I sell? When do I sell? Okay, sell. And then it keeps going. Well, then you don't even really have a system to begin with. So either way, the question shows just by the very nature of asking the question that the system or whatever you're trying to do in the market is probably not what you should be doing because it's not based on a repeatable, back-tested, data-driven strategy. Does that make sense? So it's things like that. So like when you're like, oh, what are the levels for today? It's like, well, I mean, I don't really care. Like, does that make sense? Definitely. All right, cool. Cool. There's a lot of, there's a lot of things in the ways that like new traders or, or just traders in general think that like, if they just looked at the market a slightly different way, they have so much more success. They'd have so much more. I mean, that's why I do what I do over here for you guys. Let's see. I mean, arcade, see, this is interesting. I want to see on Weeble if this thing is flashing around being an a-hole. That's still fine on Weeble. I don't know. This, these data feeds sometimes get messed up. One of them's right. One of them's wrong. I mean, with ES doing what it's doing, I wouldn't expect this to be correct. Maybe it is, though. Maybe it is. All right. Let's see. Kaba's still looking good. Where is uh, where's that other ticker that I've got? The shares trade. Eh, it's all right. It's doing good. I need like 40 cents on it in order to in order to get my uh, my first TP there. So, my stops are at break even, though, so I can't lose on it. Netflix got smacked yesterday. Maybe a comeback today. Netflix kind of invalidated. Now I'm kind of looking more towards Amazon, even though that one's a tough one to get right. Um, it just moves a little bit weird in relation to the overall market. Um, but that one I am interested in. I actually had a little position on it yesterday. Um, uh, Ralph, I'll look at that one in a sec. I think I know what it's about. But um, I actually had a little baby position on Amazon yesterday, uh, mainly because it was showing a lot of relative strength. Uh, versus the overall market uh but once the market started to kind of turn back to the upside uh, and amazon was not moving and actually coming down i just cut them at break even i mean they were up a lot it was such a tiny trade i was actually like a it was it wasn't a gdp gamble um but it was basically saying all right well the chart looks really good if we have news the next day if the market wants to head higher what is a what is a chart that could look really good and get a little bit more of a boost because of that data um and when I started to see that thesis fall apart, I mean, I just cut him at break even. Uh, let's see, Ralph, let me take a look at this quick. I think I know what this is about. Yep, I saw that. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, I told him. I told him. I tried to help him. How about Boeing? Boeing actually doesn't look bad. I remember looking at Boeing yesterday with you guys, and it, it didn't look all that bad. It just next week will be Boeing. Next week, I'll kind of look at Boeing. It needs a couple of more days. Even in like it, RKT, I thought needed a few more days too before the skyrocket yesterday. Ooh, hold on. No way. Oh, who is this? 
are they are they that big yeah carisdale capital sent out something long bitcoin short micro strategy i think that's stupid uh we are long bitcoin and short shares of micro strategy a proxy for bitcoin which trades at unjustifiable premium to the digital asset that drives its value all right so here's the issue with what this uh with what carisdale capital is doing right now i've thought about putting on this trade short micro strategy long bitcoin it's it's actually the other way around is the way that you would want to do it um because if you see, all right, think about it like this. The market has shown everybody that MicroStrategy trades at a premium to what their Bitcoin holdings are and uh, what their underlying asset or what their underlying business actually provides. So if Bitcoin continues to go up, which is kind of the assumption here going into the halving and, and what we're seeing with the long run inflation target stepping up. What would need to happen in order for that premium that MicroStrategy is trading at to get wiped out to then come back to a normal level? Well, it would be Bitcoin tanking. So I understand what they're trying to do with the spread trade and at face value, it makes sense. But if it's already trading at a premium, why why would you then think it's going to stop doing that? It's like trying to stand in front of a freight train. It's like, I'm going to stop it. It's like, well, hold on now. Are you though? And then you're just adding fuel to the fire um, because a lot of people are putting on that trade, uh, short micro strategy, long Bitcoin. But if Bitcoin continues to go up and micro strategy pops, you're just at like they, they are, they are providing a self-fulfilling prophecy for the exact opposite of what their thesis is. Because a lot of people are doing that. So if you think that when the price goes up, shorts aren't going to be covering and adding buying pressure into the market and then putting micro strategy at a point where it's trading at a higher premium than what it already is with Bitcoin going up, I would say you're stupid. Because it's not like micro strategy is just going to come down. Like, why would it if Bitcoin's going up? That doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, do you hold positions past the second take profit? No. Uh, no, I don't No, It's always, it's always, uh, either depending on the amount of, like if I'm trading five ES, I'll sell three of them at the first TP or to buy back three of them at the first TP, but usually it's half at the first TP, half at the second. But again, you got to think about it too. Like you're getting like a one to seven, one to eight risk to reward on it. Like that's still, that's nasty guys. Bitcoin looks like it wants to blast off on the daily. Yeah, like I've thought through the, the micro strategy spread trade and it doesn't make sense. Jason, what's up, man? I'm late but not absent coach. I'll run my laps after game day. Good morning, all. What's up, team? How we doing? We got three minutes to go until market open here. I hope you guys are excited. It's going to be an interesting day, but micro strategy holds so much Bitcoin and it's leverage, so its value moves exponentially, not linearly. Right, exactly. You're starting to sound like a true Bostonian. Wait, hold on. Really? I've I I don't I don't think I've met anybody really in Boston with a Boston accent except for like Uber drivers. That's it. I haven't met one. Cause like the people that live in Boston now are all college graduates. I don't think I sound like I'm from Boston. Boston. <laughs> I park my car at Harvard Yard. All right, that's not that's not how I talk. Attitude wise, no, Boston people are cool, man. Un unless they they do uh what they did when um spend more time in Southie. I spend the vast majority of my time in Southie. I love Southie. Um, yeah, the Boston people are cool unless they uh you know do what they did um in that story i told you and then i had to i had to say back what i said and now no more problems all right less than a minute to go here ladies and gentlemen we got 40 seconds to go oh you guys are slacking really hard on the like button over here uh-oh uh-oh cassius where did it, where in boston do you live where in boston do you have All right, 17 seconds. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Again, if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that like button on the way in, helps out a whole lot getting these streams out to some more people.
Dorchester all day. I know some people from Dor- Dorchester. I know a couple. Market open. Kava's done nothing yet. Yeah, all right. Like, this is still saying, pre- here we go. Look at this. All right, there you go on RKT. Oh, those are going. <laughs> All right, what are these at? 162% right now on the RKTs. Again, they're going to be a little spread. All right, they're probably going to be way higher than that. They're really spready right now. Really spready. Like the bid is basically zero and the ask is high. So those are going to be a lot higher, I think. Uh, like Kava's haven't moved. Kava hasn't opened yet, has it? Kava has not opened yet. Let's see what happens with this. This thing takes a minute here to start trading. Yeah, all right, there go the RKTs, 239% on those right now. I still need it to hit my level, man. I, it needs to hit this level. I'm not selling until there. Dorchester, and you work at Harpoon? Oh, did you see Did you see me at, the, at Harpoon Fest? I was there. I was there having an amazing time. RKT looking phenomenal. I mean, I could make it free here, and I, I probably should. Yeah. What's that? eBay. All right. The spreads are kind of tightening up here. They're only up 130. 100. These are really spready. 172%. They're spready. My NEEs from yesterday are up 50%. And the uh, shares trade is looking all right. Where's Kava? Kava hasn't even traded yet. Come on, buddy. Somebody. There we go. Whoa. Kava at 70. That's really good. Those contracts should probably snap a little. It's going to take a minute for uh, the premiums to update here, but uh, the R- where's RKT? This thing's ripping, but the premiums are just stupid. Yeah, they're being a little stupid with the premiums. Not going to lie. Let's see what happens there. I mean, that's the that's really the level I'm targeting, 15, 20. Kava, come on, buddy. Get going there, pal. Sorry, you're gonna bump into me. You were off that day. I was tech. I was having a great time that day. All right, my kavas are up fifty percent. That's good. They're super spread. Why is everything so spready today? Two hundred nine percent now on the RKTs. I'm up. I'm up nicely today. That's good. So I've got kavas up fifty percent. RKTs up two hundred five percent. My NEEs are up fifty two percent. My shares trade is up seven ish percent. Docu pop as well. Nice. Like I kind of want to make the RKTs free. And then target further levels here, but I'd need to sell them higher. Kava came back down a little. They're super spready. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing with this RKT. Where's ES? Selling. That's not going to help anybody. All right, let's see what happens. I mean, I could sell half and make it free. I actually could sell less than half and make it free here on the RKT. I'll throw in a limit. I'll throw in a limit here. See if I can snipe them. I I mean, maybe. I don't know. Actually, I'm going to throw a high limit in there just to just to have it. Because if they want to pump it a little, I want to get paid for it. All right. The Kavas are flickering around. There it goes. If this thing pops a little bit more, I'll probably get taken on that. And I'll be able to make these free. My NEEs are up. Where's NEE right now? Oh, yeah. There we go. The, at this level up here, 64.56 is where I'll be taking some profits on the uh, on the NEEs. Uh, Kava, I mean, it's not looking bad. It just needs to get that follow through. Yeah. All right. I think they're, I think they're going to get, I think they're going to let me take this here. Come on, dude. Flash the premiums. Give me my money. 84% on the NEEs right now. That's good. Wow. We're cranking today, team. We are cranking today. Oh my God. 
yeah, come on. Give me my give me my fill on here on the RKT. They tightened up the spreads. I just want my fill. What happened to AMC? Uh, I told you guys after they did that reverse nonsense over there that it was going to get diluted into oblivion, and then well, nobody listened. So, yeah, here comes RKT. Come on, bud. Yeah, I'm two cents away. So I'm basically going to get – it's like a 200% scale out, I think is about what it's going to be right around like 15 ish i'll make it free maybe take a little bit more off at that 15 19 area if we can get there uh and then we'll see what happens we will see what happens any e looking good amazon not really doing anything es just kind of chopping around kava came back kind of Coming back down a little there rkt i think it needs to get to like 15 there in order to give it to me Come on, somebody buy it. Somebody push this thing a little more. I want to get filled. That don't clip that, please. Please don't clip that. <laughs> All right, that might do it. Oh, it's close. I'm three cents away on the on the scale. I just need to hit it. Two cents. My NEs flashed around there. Yeah. All right, got filled on the RKTs there. That's great. That's great, man. So those are free. Those are free. Boom, baby. That's what we like to see. 236% on the RKTs right now. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the NEEs that I have are up 50%. I still, it's getting close. Uh, what is this? 64.56. So I'll scale there. Um, the shares trade is kind of chopping around. Kava, those Kavas I have are up 10%, but it's not looking great here. So we'll see what happens with that. K-Web getting love? I think Yin is too. Yeah, so is Yin. Yin's up 3%. That's good. Yin's up nicely. Yeah, nice move there on RKT, giving me a little money there. Thank you, RKT. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys were on that one too. I mean, that one's just dirty. We've been all over the RKT over the last few weeks. That's two over 200% trades on RKT in two weeks. We had the, I mean, all right. So the highest I saw my DraftKings was for around 1,400%. I ended up selling the last batch of them at, uh, between 1,150% and 1,200%. So that's most of the time what I'm looking for on a lot of these swings. Um, but DraftKings was one of the best ones we've seen in a while. 360% and 100% on the ones that you rolled, tore. Good work, man. Good work. Um, and again, I mean, I'll extend this offer to everybody else as well. All of my, uh, all of my education is 50% off. If, uh, if you guys are interested in that, there's that link right there. The day trading mastery course, the swing Kings course. Yeah. A firm. I did get stopped out on that one this week. Um, but again, this one, this one can easily consolidate and then let us, let us get moving to the upside there. So, I mean, this week I'm up what five, 6% small risk, a couple losers, a couple nice winners. Solid across the board, man. I mean, green week. XLU is going strong too. That's why any the NEE is helping with that. It just needs again. I need that up at uh sixty four fifty six in order to start taking some taking some money back. ES trying to make a little bit of a move. This is just chop nonsense. We might see that again today. I mean, we saw a little bit of volatility yesterday. Chop, 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 chop. Finally got your TPs there, and then what was the prior day? Prior day was nothing as well. It was like this crap doing absolutely nothing. So Kava actually making a move back up there. If that can break 70 and start to get going, eh, this thing's been whippy. That thing's been real whippy. You showed me the way, brother. Thank you. Thank you, Tor. <laughs> Love that, man. Yeah, what a day. What a day already. Yeah, so I mean the RKTs are flashing around 172% on the freebies right now. Uh if we get to I'll take a little bit if we end up getting up to this level here, 1519, I'll what do I have left? I'll sell mm, I'll sell like a quarter of what I have left there on the RKTs if we end up getting up there. But they're free. So I can do whatever I want now. Can we see docu? Yes, you can. Doc, you get catching a little bit here. Yeah, I mean, I know a lot of you guys made that DocuSign position free. Um, so you guys are kind of good to go on that one. 
but dude, we're like 10 minutes into the market and we've already just nailed it. <laughs> we're 10 minutes in and we've just, we're basically done. Now we just wait and see what wants to happen the rest of the day. And the NEEs are up. Why are the NEEs flashing around? So why are they doing that to this? Now they're showing like 82% when they should be up 40. Did this pop? A little, but that's not enough to be that high. Yeah, so those are up 80%. That's not bad. Kava. Kava. So, I mean, first TP there on Kava is going to be around 72, 72 for me. That's where I like it. Little one to, I mean, that's kind of the one to three based on this, I think. So it's either way. I like that 72, 72 area on it. AMD, how's AMD doing? My baby, how's, how are we doing on this one? Oh, come on back, bud. You got to break over the 10 and get going. Those of you guys that are new, um, I own a boatload of AMD with an average of $11 and 39 cents, not 111, $11 and 39 cents. So, um, that, that position is very large in relation to the, my overall portfolio. So I got to do something with that. I started selling some premium on it uh, a couple weeks ago. So those are probably up nicely, but I don't know. Maybe if we get back to 200, I'll, I'll take some off, sell a block of a hundred shares somewhere. I mean, that's not really a block, but, you know, to me, it's a block. <laughs> uh, yeah, there goes Kava ripping. That's what we want to see. Those are up 65% right now. Amazon's crossing up now. I, I don't think I'm going to take any new trades today, though. It's not really worth it. You know, it's not really worth it. NE takes about 30 minutes for the premiums to settle in. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. We are just slaughtering it today, though. Jeez, man. Kava, thank you. Get get your butt up there. Come on. I'm starting to see the light. Thank you for all of your sharing. Anthony, I mean, shout out to you guys for, for coming in here and actually taking advantage of everything that I teach. Um, those of you guys that are new, hang around here for a little while. You'll start to pick things up. Um, and then once you're ready, those courses are going to be 50% off for you guys. Uh, again, for those of you guys that want both of them, I'm never going to ask for you guys to pay me twice or pay me every single month. It's just one time fee. You always have access to me. I'm live every day to help you guys. We just keep going, man. We just keep it going. So Kava looking phenomenal here. 40% on those. The RKTs are only up. 148%. How are my NEEs only up 15% now? Because the spreads are so wide. A holds. How much is it? Uh, with the 50% off, it's uh it's like 299 USD. Yeah, NEE starting to come down. But I can send you guys the link in the live chat. Well, the link is already floating around in the live chat. I don't need to send it to you guys again. Ooh. Uh-oh. We got to adjust the camera real quick, guys. Hold on. Give me a second. It's a rainy day in Boston, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Whoa. Kava. Boom. Boom. Boom, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we like to see. See, they don't call me the swing king for no reason, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what are those up? 45%. That's not bad. I mean, it's not great. The, uh, the RKTs are up 165. The NEs are flashing around. They were just at 18%. Now they're at 44. Uh, the MSOS shares trade that I have, we can kind of talk about this real quick. Um, this one over here. Is not bad. Killing it today. Mo, there you go. Uh, for the course that helps you set up everything uh, and how much do you think you need to get started? Okay. Um, so I always will say to you guys um, to paper trade when you get started, especially with futures, especially with futures and for swing trading too. Like I want you guys to, to feel what it's like to be holding these positions and, and seeing how they move. Um, but to get started, I mean, I know people that have come in and started swinging with a hundred bucks. 
500 bucks. Like you can, you can get into the market and start swinging with that little amount of money. Um, especially if you're trading shares, especially if you're trading shares. So this is the MSOS trade that I have here. Bought this off of the little consolidation convergence into this EMA here. Uh, stops below this low. Uh, I actually was supposed to buy more yesterday and I didn't, which kind of stinks. I just was asleep at the wheel on that one. Now that we cross this level right here, I now have stops at break even. First TP, I have limit orders up in this area here. Um, and then I'm going to probably be moving stops up to maybe here. 969 or 9, 991, something like that, if we get through this this 1062 area. Um, and then the rest of the shares, I'm going to be targeting like 1380 something for like a 1 to 15 risk to reward. So for the first TP, it's about what's the risk to reward on it? 1 to 4? And then what was this, like 1 to 15 something? It was, I forget where the level exactly is, but it's it's back here somewhere. It's this. It's one of these. Yeah, it's this one right here. Right there. Cool. So we'll see what happens with that. Kava looking pretty good. Let's see. NEE, that's not great there. Uh, RKT, how are we looking on this? Eh, not bad. I mean, solid. Chicago PMI data out. Uh, how's that doing to the market? Ooh, popping. Popping. Yeah, we're up good here. Kavas are up 55%. The RKTs are up 172 the NEEs are still at 24. That's more realistic, I think. Uh, and then the shares trades up about 8.5%, which is really good. Really good, man. Yeah, and then Ryan, for futures as well, I mean, you could take advantage of prop firms like Top Step and Apex and things like that. I'd love to I'd love to be out of the MSOS today uh, at that first TP. I mean, again, I... Uh, if you swing contracts, how much room do, I, do you give yourself? Uh, what do you mean by room, David? Uh, room in, in what way? Time, uh, distance to the strikes. Um, I mean, kind of all those things are kind of talked about in the courses. Like that's obviously like what's part of what's in them. Uh, it depends, but wow, Kava's getting spicy here. If we if we get up to 72, 72 today, another two buck, I mean... That could be real fun on Kaba. A firm become a play again. Yeah, it is. Um, I'm gonna be a little more careful with it just because it's it's being an a-hole. And what I mean by that is when you see the volume pick up here and then it gets shattered right back down, and then it does this the next day. I mean, it is holding these levels here. The problem is when you look at the weekly, what do you see? The weekly is not helpful. Uh, time, it depends. The weekly time frame, I get a lot more time on them. The daily time frame, sometimes I sling weeklies, two weeks out, a month out, but it's usually around there. Uh, the weekly time frame on a firm just looks <sighs> icky. So, yeah, the daily looks all right, but you're going to have to fight with a lot of things in here. Market turning up here. Kava, I mean, not struggling a little. I'd love to see RKT get a little bit more steam. Uh, if that thing breaks 15, it could get a really, really nice pop up to that uh, that 15, 19 area. Uh, it's funny because in Spanish, cava is a type of champagne here that tastes awesome. I've heard, I just haven't tried the actual restaurant yet. Is it, have you guys had Dig? I like Dig. Dig is really good. Any, what are you doing? Oh, come on. That's no fun. That's no fun. We were having so much fun this morning, almost getting up to our target. And then you had to move back down, didn't you? You don't have Kava restaurants? I think there are some in Boston. I just haven't seen them yet. Kava making a move. Yeah, those are still only up about 50%. The spread's tightened, though, which is good. 152 on the RKTs, 21 on the NEEs. Yeah, the MSOS might take a couple more days, but that's fine. I mean, shares never expire. I could hold that thing forever if I really wanted to. Will I? Probably not. But And my stops at break even. So the only thing that can really hurt me here on the shares trade on MSOS is if, if there's like a nasty gap down. How does hood look? 
Mm, this is not really fitting for me. There's nothing here for me. Uh, Wicks on MNQ are crazy right now. Your buy order filled like $10 lower. And then, yeah, what's going on with that, Daniel? You've been getting screwed around recently. This month was a $5,000 month. Shit works. Thanks, Ben Currington. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, you guys have been crushing it. I love seeing you guys win, man. It's awesome. It is absolutely awesome. Uh, you got to try Lazy Bear Ice Cream Shop in Dorchester. I'll, I'll go over there and try that. I like JP Licks. It's a good spot. Um, What else? I don't know. I'm not an ice cream fan, honestly. Like every once in a while, like let's say, let's say biannually I'll have ice cream. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I don't know why. I just have never liked it. I was never one of those kids like, oh, ice cream. I just never really liked it. Uh, Kava making new highs over here, trying to get over 71. That's awesome. Uh, RKT looking pretty solid here too. I would expect these premiums to start jumping a little on Kava. Yeah, 80% on the Kavas right now. That's phenomenal. That is absolutely awesome. Your Kavas are off to a good start. Great job, Andrew. Uh, real quick question. You're profitable on uh, PM. Are you talking paper money? Or what's PM? Uh, what are the key differences other than spreading real-time data would be equally as profitable on a funded? Uh, you probably will, yeah. You probably will. It depends, though. If you're, like, scalping 1 to 0.25 risk to rewards, then maybe not, but... Um, like if you're trading the way that like I trade and the, oh, Kava, <laughs> they don't call me the swing King for no reason. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. All right. I'm probably going to have to try Kava. I might like Uber eats it today or something. Uh, 185% on the RKTs. The NEEs are really flickering around right now, which is annoying. Cause those have a decent amount of time on them too. The MSOSs are doing good. Uh, everything's doing good. The the RKTs are back up 189%. I could say 190, but it's not round upable. We're lucky enough to learn from the Swing King. Thanks, Andrew. I appreciate that. Kava came back down. It's going to flicker, but RKT, I want to see this thing get above 15. That's what I want to I want to see what happens. Uh, everything you've been doing is swing trades based off strategy. I don't think you can swing on prop firms, can you? You can you the way that I teach you the overnight strategy you can use on prop firms because you're not holding between that one hour period. But dude, I want to see Kava get up. So this is follow through right here. Your port is up forty two percent this week alone, Boric. Oh my god, yeah. Great work, everybody. Great freaking work. Great work. Seeing you guys win, and, and especially those of you guys that I've seen for years struggling, finally starting to have, like, significant amounts of success means the world to me, man. Like, it's just absolutely awesome. It's amazing. 42% in a week. I mean, you probably over a little, so, again, please don't do that. But the docu, I know you hit Boric. I mean, you maybe the RKT and the Kava as well. Um, the NE, the NEE, I mean, this is a little bit of a, I actually sh should probably have longer dated contracts than I do, but I mean, I still like this. Holy Kava. Oh my God. Yeah. They're being a little mean on the Kava premiums. I mean, these are only up like 85, 90% right now. They're a little spready. Remember I like every single time I trade Kava, I'm like, I should have just tape traded the shares, but no. I have to be spicy. Uh, this has been a long, tough journey to get here. Thank you so much for all you have done, STV. Boric, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Shout out to you guys, too. Always, always coming back. Always trying to learn. I love it, man. I love it. So, I mean, Kava is kind of within striking distance here. This thing can really get spicy if it wants to. I mean, same thing with RKT, but teetering under that 50, uh, 15 level here. I mean, I just want it to break, you know? Amazon's loving it. After it broke my level, it's going. I just don't want any more positions right now. Yeah, Amazon looks good. Like, there's no need. Like, I don't really need any more positions. Like, my account now this week is up, like, I don't know. Now, now that everything's kind of filtered in here, I mean, I'm up, like, 8% this week. That's really good. Like, 8% in a week is huge. That's insane. 
Uh, and then also remember what we talked about in mastermind with you guys last night, that 12% rule, make sure you guys are following that. That one's important. That one's very important for sizing up things like that. So I have my levels on, on Kava that again, there's nothing to do now. I could still lose on the Kava. It's still possible. First target on, uh, 76, 39, three to one. Uh, no, I'm playing mine is 72, 72, because it's more so like this. I'm still treating it as if this was the break and I have shorter dated options. So if you look at, where is it? It's like here. So the one to three is it's kind of right here. It's like right around here. If you draw it, like, hold on, let me get this tighter. Yeah. So it's right around this 72, 72 area. It's actually lower than that. It's actually, I can move this. Uh, what is this? Come on, one to three. What is that? Uh, what's the height of this? Seventy-two fifty-four. So we can move that down to here. Like I'm still treating it as if that was the break, because you'd have like you'd have so much room now. If you're on shares, yeah, that's fine to do that. But me with options, I still want to play it like that. Tore up 3% this week. That's still great. Data in five minutes. Powell's beloved University of Michigan. That could get real interesting for the overall market here. NEE made a little bit of a move back, but literally nothing crazy. RKT is trying to make that attempt over 15. 85% on the Kavas. 190. All right. 195.8% on the RKTs. That's really close to 196. Uh, 32%. Third, well, okay. Now it's not. 30% on the NEEs. Still up about 8% on the uh, the MSOS shares too. Oh, you have shares? Yeah, if you have the shares, you know. Because the reason why I'm like, all right, well, I want to be able to make sure I'm getting out is because uh, like my options expire next week. So we get up to those levels. I mean, those, those contracts are going to be sitting pretty and then I can just make them free and not care. You know? And then I'll target what? Uh, let's call it. Let's do one to five. That's a bit much, but we can do that right there. 74.86. So we'll do that. That makes the most sense here. It's an all-time high breakout, so you never know what's going to happen with it. So we'll do TP1 here, 72.50, basically. We'll move that to 72.50 just to make it flat. And then, uh, and then second TP is going to be at 74.86. RKT is trying to get up there too. ES is not helping anybody out, but I mean, who cares? Uh, your risk is from the break of 69.20 to the Wicklow yesterday on the shares. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, again, you could maybe target a little bit less just because of that crazy wick. But whatever you're comfortable with, Andrew, like you're probably already up a decent amount. Like if you're already up one to two, one to two and a half right now, I mean, I wouldn't have any problems with moving stops or break even. Oh boy, what just happened? Why did my RKTs just rip? Oh, the spreads got crazy, but they're up 273% right now. Something happened. My, my uh, Kavas are up 90. All right, we'll see. About 3%. On shares, that's really good. Like, that's really good on shares. This thing's just going. RKT is trying to make that move above uh, 15 right now. If we get that, it, it it could be a straight shot to 15, 19, but I yeah, Kava's going, man. That's one of that's a great call there. That's a great call on the Kavas. The, the premiums are a little wonky, but that's fine, man. They're still up 90%. We're sitting pretty today, ladies and gentlemen. We are sitting pretty today. I'd love to get some more scale outs to take some cash back. So this level on RKT, we already I already made the RKTs free. Um, so, I mean, again, I'd love to see this 15, 19 hit. I would re I don't think Kava is going to have the juice to get up to 72 50 today. I could be wrong. Um, but that is kind of where that's going to be as well. So I'll have to hold those. NEE needs to get up to here in order for me to take this off again. Once I have the plan going into the trade, there's really nothing. I, nothing else I need to do. Just wait, just wait, watch those, watch those games roll in, man. Kava sharked. That's no fun. 
It's going to flicker around, though. That thing moves weird. RKT kind of sold off from that 15 area again. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Yeah, here comes the data. What do we have? Consumer sentiment? Yeah. And pending home sales. So let's see what that data looks like. See where the market wants to go. RKT is knocking on the door. It is really knocking on the door there. You can't find RKT on TradingView? Mm, well, make sure make sure you're set to all and not like futures, Forex, crypto, and stuff like that. It'll be there. NEE coming back. RKT is just not, it's two cents away from the break. What's the high? $14.99. So we're right there. We are right there. Oh, no. All right, here we go. U.S. pending home sales month over month act, whoa, 1.6% increase versus negative 4.9 previous. The estimate was up 1.5. That's interesting. Uh, Michigan uh, final March. Hold on. Uh, come on. Consumer sentiment at 79.4 versus 76.5. The market might like that. The market might like that. Consumer sentiment being a little higher. Yeah, Kava coming back down a little. RKT at high of day. Let's see if it can break through. Yeah, interesting data there. I don't know why the consumer sentiment would be that high, but I mean, it's still below 100. So, Still up 75% on Kava, 182% on RKT. NEs are coming back up 26% there. My MSOS shares are doing good. So we just need that break. Uh, expect, uh, expectation on inflation lower than forecast by 0.1. Ooh, that's interesting. Where do you see that? Is that on the feed? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that just came through the feed here. Uh, One-year inflation expectations, uh, actual 2.9%. No, no, no. It's 0.2% it's, it's lower. That's, ooh, that's really interesting. Uh, Five-year inflation expectations. Oh, that's the one that's 0.1 lower. One-year inflation expectations were 2.2% lower. The estimate was 3.1%. The actual was 2.9%. That's interesting. Okay. RKT could not get through 15. TLT getting a little boost? That should help RKT. Yeah, TLT is coming up a little. Kava back to 71. Just take it. Uh, come on, Kava. We need that follow-through here, pal. We need that follow through. We need you to hold. We're still looking really good today, though. Oh, my God. Any E is moving. Whoa, 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 Kava. Whoa there, buddy. It does this, though. Like, it'll pop, drop, pop. Like, it just does. It behaves so strangely. ES moving. RKT is struggling. I think if they let that thing loose above 15, it's going to have some fun. That's just my guess. I don't know, but that would be that big psychological level at 15. Selling off of it twice, coming up to 14.99. I think if you can break through, I think it's going to have a little bit of fun. Obviously, I could be incorrect. It doesn't matter at this point, really, just because I've already made the position free. Uh, look, at now Kava's back up 30 cents. Like This thing moves like a crackhead. What a day, man. What a day. What's that? Roku? What do I have on Roku? Uh-oh. <laughs> I want it, but I don't. Like, I want it, but I don't. You know? Like, it looks like it could get going. I just... Uh, it's just scary. It's Roku. Roku makes you Broku, you know? That's the old saying with Roku. RKT back to fourteen ninety nine. What's the high? Still, man, they're fighting it there. I don't think I'm taking that. If you guys want it, you can have you can have your way with Roku here. I think I'm staying away from that one. Micron on the daily. Micron had really good earnings and needs to chill out. It needs a way for the EMAs to catch up. Dude, RKT is just like, look at it. It's just not hello. 
Who is it? It's Rocket. And it just can't do it. They're not letting him in. It's so close, though. Like, look at this. It's just flatlined at $14.99. Break it. And then let's have some fun up to $15.19. I scale out more. I have a good day. And then we're done. You know? That's all I want. That's it. Just do. Come on. There's 15. New high. And eh, right back down. <laughs> yeah, ooh, ooh, ooh. They're filling orders. Let's see. Is it going to get the boost? Is it gonna is it gonna fuel the rocket here? Is it gonna do it? Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, come on. You're gonna flatline it at 15 now? Really? Uh Kava came back down a little, but nothing crazy. Uh, it's trying. It's trying. It's doing its best, ladies and gentlemen. The RKT is 195%. Ah, I couldn't do it. It couldn't do it. All right. NEE, going to go for round two above 64? I'd love to see that. I'd love to see that. And again, team, if you guys are enjoying the stream, make sure you guys hit that like button on the way in. It's all I asked for around here. Helps out a whole lot with YouTube algorithms, getting more people to kind of learn about the markets in this way, the way I approach these things. I think it's very beneficial to a lot of you guys. As seen by all of your portfolios going up a boatload this week. Yeah, Kava's not really doing it here. That's fine. I mean, let it do its thing. Let it be. Oh, they really do not want RKT above 15, huh? They don't want it. Market's kind of chopping here. Nothing crazy. I'd love for Kava to go for round two of the ripping. It's probably just testing the, the fifth. Oh, no. It's got some room here. So all we got to do is get to here. That's it. Imagine if I just held the, like, if I had Kava shares and I was just able to hold them off of this. I would have had so much more fun than screwing around with the second entry. <sighs> So if you guys still have Kava shares kicking around from that first entry down here at freaking, what, 57? And it's at 71? You never, mm, you might have taken it off there, 62. That's not bad on the, but, I mean, if you were, if you wanted to sling it a little, I mean, it's $13 move, $14 move on RKT. That's disgusting. Who's giving you guys that? Oh, yeah, me. Sorry. Forgot about that. I forgot. It's me. <laughs> Yeah, Tessie, I would not expect Tessie to have very much fun. Eh, that I'd be careful of coming down to the 10 there on the daily. Uh, RKT's trying to go for seconds here. Let's see what we got. We're going to go wild on the Instagram stories today, posting all these games. It's going to be fun. Uh, NEE is trying. I just want my scale out. Every single time I say that, I feel like the Joker when he's sitting in jail. He's like, I just want my phone call. That's how I feel. Kava, disappointment to your bloodline is what you are. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding, Kava. I still love you. Apple having issues too. Well, I mean, the real deciding factor is going to be how are NVIDIA and AMD looking. That's kind of what's been moving the market recently. Yeah, Nancy is just hanging on for dear life here. AMD. Uh, AMD's up nicely today. AMD is up nicely. Where's uh, SMCI? Kind of same look as NVIDIA there. Why so serious? I'm trying to make money, bro. All right, let's see. Market's closed tomorrow, too. That's kind of wild. I thought it was Friday today. It's not Friday. It's Thursday. Feels like a Friday. Going out tonight, you know? I usually try to avoid going out when, when like, we have work to do. 
uh, is a value semi play compared to Nvidia and SMCA. Yeah, fair, fair. That's true. All right, what else we got here? Up fifty five percent on the Kavas. The RKTs are currently sitting up one hundred forty eight percent. The NEs are twenty five. The shares trade, I mean, it fell down below 10, but it's just at 9.98. So you're just chilling on that one. RKT really struggled at that 15 area. So buyers are really going to need to step up there. I mean, they took some orders off the table there at 15, but the sellers are kind of outweighing them in the market the way it's moving right now. Uh, those wicks after data is not helpful. To what? Oh, Kava. Yeah, see. If they do the drilling today and just start selling this thing off like crazy, that's going to be wild, especially before PCE tomorrow. So all I really did today was scale out of the, uh, the RKT. That's really it. Made it free. So that's what? So I sold the rest of the other RKTs yesterday. Made the new RKTs free today. We can't lose on the RKT. I still can lose on the Kava. It needs to hit that 7250 in order for me to start scaling out. So I'm just being honest with you guys. Like it's up nicely and it's looking really good. It just still has to get to those levels in order for me to be able to take money off. Same thing with NEE. That thing needs to get to what was that? Like 6460, I think it was. That's what we were looking at on that thing. 6460, I think. Where is it? 6456. All right, that's close enough. Market's chopping. Have fun trying to day trade this nonsense. Have fun trying to day trade that crap. Not for me. Where's Algo? I'd like to see him in here. I say, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, man, I'm sore. All right, let's see Kava get back above 71 and then maybe maybe go for seconds there. We've got three minutes left for new 15-minute candles too, so that'll be a pretty big spot in the market. So we will see. And again, team, make sure that you guys are slapping that like button on the way in. Helps out a whole lot getting these streams out to some more people, team. I mean, you guys see just the amount of just dirty, disgusting trades. That. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I struggle understanding when the entry of its breakout trade versus ch chasing into a fake up. Well, you don't, you don't ever know. It's just the setup. The setup is kind of going to dictate that for you. Like if we're consolidating, converging into the EMAs, it starts to break above these upside levels when you've already like been in a nice little uptrend. Oh, it's going to look nasty, and you're going to have a great time with that position. But if it fails, it fails. That's why we manage our risk appropriately. Market coming down. RKT lost it. 25 cents down from that high. That's no fun. Hello, hello. Welcome, man. Micron Daily looks like it's setting up. Yeah, it just needs more time. You need you need that thing to wait around for like another week or two for for the EMAs to catch up and, and for that thing to show. You need to you need to see balance. You haven't you there hasn't been enough days that it's traded after that crazy earnings to show balance yet. You need to see the buyers and sellers start to balance themselves out. Uh, okay, that's what I've been careful about recently. Glad to hear that. Yeah, it's just if it breaks, you're good to go. If it stops you out, it stops you out. I mean, you guys see like all the, like when those trades hit, you're basically like you're, when the trades go, you're always going to make more than you lose. That's how the strategy is set up. So, and again, Daniel, I'm not sure if you're a, uh, a mastermind member, uh, but if you are, uh, make sure you go watch the mastermind from last night. We talked a little bit more about like strategies of managing like trading accounts. Um, and that's going to, that, those couple rules that I was showing you guys and the way of looking at things is going to be incredibly helpful for you to kind of lessen that emotional, like weight that's on you. Not a mastermind member yet. Yeah. I still got to change the prices on that for you guys and send that out. I just, I've just been like so busy. I, there's so many things I've had to do. A lot of things I don't want to do but I do them anyway. 
Kava not having fun. I mean, it is. It's still up 2% today, which is really good. But RKT trying to make a move back up. NEE, well, we'll see what happens with this. Market looks like it kind of wants to screw around all day. So unless this thing really wants to make a move to the upside, we're probably just going to chop around for most of the day. Remember what I told you guys yesterday? I was like, yeah, that day trade from here, I was like, yeah, you're probably going to be in it all day if it, if, it start, if it starts to go. This trade literally, the first entry on this thing, I think was here at what time was this? 1030 you didn't hit double tp until 330 that's crazy that's crazy all right let's see kava trying to move yeah, there's literally no reason to be day trading anything here you gotta run thanks for the stream no problem daniel no problem buddy let's see It's trying to come back. You need, if you want this thing to get set free, you need candle closes above this zone. I mean, you do have this one back here too, but it's almost a straight shot to all-time highs. It's like 53.22.75. You're 13 points away, 12, 13 points away. Kava trying to move back. RKT trying to come back. NEE coming back a little. That's good. Mara running. Yo, did we miss the Mara? That's fine. I mean, it just wasn't giving me my setup. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, that... He can do what it wants there. That wasn't for me. It, there wasn't enough consolidation. It wasn't respecting the EMAs enough. It hadn't sold off enough. Like it, there were a lot of things that were keeping me away from the Mara, which is fine. I'm not going to hit them all, but I'll hit most of them. Let's see. Here comes NEE. Hey, bud. Where's XLU? That's the utilities ETF. That thing's getting up there today. I mean, I was thinking about trading shares on this, but the ranges weren't that good. I liked NEE a lot better. Please, dude, I know, man. But still eager to, with my sister? Oh, multi hunter. There you go, man. They, uh, thoughts on uh, weed stocks? Yeah. So, um i actually have the the msos is a marijuana etf this trade that i'm in right now my stops at break even i can't lose on the trade um but this trade right here is a like cannabis etf so i mean looks good took the setup looking great so far uh you sold more mara sorry for a small profit because you didn't feel comfortable with the setup yeah, that's fair. I mean, to me, that setup wasn't wasn't textbook, so that's kind of why I wasn't in it. But yeah, multi hunter the uh, the deal that I'm offering all you guys, you get fifty percent off to uh, both my courses there. So um, if you guys are interested in that, again, there it is, right there. Fifty percent off. You get both of them. Buy one, get one free. You're good to go. A lot of nonsense here with this market. Nothing's happening. Like you're just like you're kind of baiting a nasty knife candle coming down. Which is kind of, kind of why I'm like, yeah, I don't know. But it's just kind of holding up so far. Uh, I don't trade Forex. I trade future stocks and options. And I all I will always say this. If you have the ability to trade future stocks and options and you decide, oh, no, you want to trade Forex, I think that's a really silly decision. Um, the brokers are terrible. The prop firms are always going down. They're scamming you guys. Like the, the, I've never seen a creator in the Forex space that I'm like, oh, that guy is very intelligent at what they do. Uh, maybe there's one out there. I just haven't seen them. Um, so again, if you have the ability to trade future stocks and options, I would say that's probably the smartest thing to do. If you don't, there are ways to get around all the nonsense there. And hopefully that's what you're doing. But most of the time, it's just you're you're putting your head in the alligator's mouth and hoping you don't get bit. Kava screwing around. NEE still looking good. RKT. I mean, it tried to make a move back up, but that 15... Did it hit 1502? 1501. All right. I mean, it's got to get through that 15 with some momentum. I mean, this MSOS, I mean, it looks good. I need to get up here uh, for that first take profit hit. That's like a one to four ish a little more i think it's like one to four and a half my stops are at break even now after we came up through this level
I don't know. Cobb is screwing around. We'll see what happens with that either today or next week. And then again, I won't be uh, I won't be live Monday because I'm traveling. But then Tuesday we'll be back. Palantir head and shoulders playing out. I mean, I don't look at head and shoulders. They're not back testable. They don't make any sense to like. They're not back. Te- they're just not back testable. <laughs> like what time frame what the like the weekly setup on this thing though this looks nasty i love this thing on the weekly here it's moving slow today cop is just chilling right above 70 there there's still way i mean this is still looking great it's just, I'd love this thing to rally back up to through these high. Yeah, it doesn't look like it wants to. Yes, slipping? No, nah, not really. Not yet. Nothing crazy going on here, team. Everything's just kind of waiting around for the next move. Yeah. Up like 45% on these Kavas now. They're a little spready, which is fine. And then uh, still up 152% on the free RKTs. That's really good. And I have the vast majority of that position still left too. Like I just scaled out a little bit of it to make it free. Because those were up around 200 something percent. So I ended up being able to keep more than half of the initial position, which is great. I love being able to do that. This is the second time we've done that on RKT in a week. We hit this one. This was the nasty RKT from back down in here. This this breakup. I was a little late on it on Powell. I got it at like 1310. Uh, really good gains up to this level. And what did I tell you guys? I said, well, this thing looks like it's setting up for another move to the upside. Uh, we finally started to get that break yesterday. And then I nailed it again. Easy money. Easy money, guys. There goes ES slipping a little. It's just getting held up. There's nothing going on. Like on the five minute, look what it's doing. Like it just had nothing. Like it's just like tick, 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 tick. You try to day trade this, you're an insane person. Like a legitimate insane person. Let's see. Any E trying RKT is like 18, 19 cents off the high. That's not bad. Let's see. I'd love for Kava to get back above 71. That would be nice. Any E back above 64 would be great. RKT getting above 15 would be phenomenal because I, I think if it gets that clean break of 15, you're going to that level there. And then how's the Roku doing? Because that thing scares me. Yeah, no. Roku makes you broku. What am I drinking? Electrolyte water? You're so mean to the insane people. I just, why? Like, look at this. It's just chopping around. But I, Ralph, I know you like to scalp it. I just can't. I just choose never to do that because I will always look. I like high risk reward. I, I'm, I always think that, especially new traders, should be trading higher risk reward strategies. There, it makes no sense for you guys to be taking like one to ones, one to twos, because the margin for error is so much lower because of the mistakes that you're going to make as a new trader. Why not when you win, win big, give yourself more wiggle room. I, so logically speaking, it makes more sense. I mean, that's one of the re- I mean, the, you guys know the day trading mastery core strategy. Like that thing is at, like on the, when you hit those trades, it's like averaged out one to six, one to seven. It's insane. I mean, that's why it's had like, I, I, I hate saying it this way because, like, it's just the data is the data. Like, it doesn't – that strategy rarely loses month over month. Like, I haven't seen one. We'll put it that way. I haven't seen it lose. It was close a few times. It was really close a few times. 
speaking facts right now. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I don't understand why somebody would be like, oh, you're going to trade one-to-ones. You have to win over 50% of the time. And then you're not going to really know the full in-depth of the strategy. And again, that type of strategy is probably not really well back-tested either. So then everybody's just throwing the people that like view them and watch them into the fire and saying, hopefully you do okay. No, I, my goal is to make sure that every single one of you guys knows exactly what you're doing in the market. And that's why I say, when you guys hop in and you guys have any questions, message me at any time. I've, I've responded to some of you guys at like two or three in the morning. Uh, you got Kava yesterday, like the setup swung into open. Yeah. Kava is a great one. Kava is a really good one here. I mean, what are those contracts looking like now? I mean, they're up 55% for me. Um, my RKTs are kind of spready, but those are still up 125%. Those are free. The NEEs are up 24. The MSOS shares are up 6.7.6%. That's good. So looking really good across the board. We just need... We just need some things to go up and hit a couple of our levels and then we're good. RKT losing it a little, NEE being a little bit of an a-hole. Market's not really helping out anybody. Still a great day though. Nothing really, I like, can't complain after all of that. Everything is green. Let's see. Hey, Kava's trying. Kava can back, get back above 71. I think you could have some fun. Did this, did it converge yet? Nope. Nope. Still got a little bit more. More time to come. I think that's a new low. No, that's not a new low on any. It's close though. Uh, I don't think quick scalping is a teachable skill. It's not. That's why when I do it, I like don't talk. Like I don't talk about it because it's not. Like the reason, the way that you become a really good scalper, guys, is just sitting in front of the charts for years and just watching how price likes to move. I can't teach you that. The thing that I would say is just go stare at price action for five or 10 years and then come back to me. It's like, well, why, why is that even something that we want to talk about? Like you guys have seen me do it, but it's not, I just like you, you, you get to the point when you're like at this point in the market, there's a higher probability of one outcome happening over another crowd. That was an interesting one I was looking at. How's that looking? No, it's not there yet. This one's a little whippy. Remember how we were talking about this yesterday? It needed to come up through some of these levels and I just wasn't all that interested. And then boom. Come on, RKT. Get your head out of here. You know what? Ford had a nice breakout. Yeah, somebody was messaging me about Ford on the weekly. Yeah, that's not bad. The weekly on Ford is actually decent looking. Like that does not look bad. For a share trade, you'd have it look like this. I don't think I'm going to touch this, but this is kind of what the share trade would look like on Ford. If you've got it here, your stops are going to be down below the weekly low. You're going to be targeting either this high right here for a one to two and a half, which honestly is not that much. And then you get a one point uh, one to three point seven up in here. But you'd be in that trade for a while because this thing would have to go from thirteen to fifteen forty two. Coin, you look at coin. It's like teaching art class. Either you have it naturally or, or you don't. Right. That's kind of what like scalping is. You either can see it or you don't. That's why so many people struggle with it. And when, yeah, that actually looks good. Um, that's why I don't like, I'll do it sometimes, but rarely. It's not something that I do all the time because it's, it's, it, you're, you're literally using straight discretion. Most people's discretion sucks. Coin didn't really break out yet. It, it, it's just respecting those EMAs. All right. Kava, nope. It tried there. It flashed at 7086 and then just got hit. So you might have those sellers back on Kava that were just like screwing around with it on like this day where it flashed up really quick and then all of a sudden just boom, got knifed for the rest of the day. Which is when I got stopped on it. Uh, any e good? What else are we looking at? Where's MSOS? How's that doing? Oh, it's okay. It's not that bad. I need it up to here. Stops are at break even though. I can't. I was supposed to buy more yesterday here, and I just forgot. So smaller size on it, still up nicely though. Yeah, I remember we had DPZ at four fifty. Now at four ninety three. That one was a tough one. I couldn't get that one right. That one was a tough one. Like you, we had the, we had the zone. I like, I wanted this thing to break. This is exactly what I wanted to see, but off of the break of 452.
But every single time it would come up to that level, it'd be like, oh, scared, 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 then drops below. Like then it kind of invalidates the setup. I know some of you guys took this still above this level uh, and you guys killed it. I didn't just because it doesn't meet like my criteria for entering trades. Normal length stream today or extended? Uh, what do you guys want to do? You want to extend the stream until 11 or you guys want to be done for the day? I don't know. I'll leave it up to you guys. What do you guys want to do? Let's see. AVTX rocketed? What's this? Therapeutic. This is just biotech news. That's all that is. Extend till one? No, 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 no. Nah, we'll extend it till 11. I got you guys. As long as you guys hit the like button on the stream, we'll extend it. But the like, hey, the like threshold goes back to 150 likes in order to extend the stream next week. So you guys that have been slacking in the live chat, next week, we're, if you want to extend the stream, you got to hit the like button. So yeah, this thing's just biotech nonsense. So I'm not, we don't need to be looking at any of this stuff. RKT trying to move back up. NEE, I mean, not really doing much. ES, flatline. Flatline. I'm enjoying the convo. That's fine. I'll stay here. I got another. Well, I do have other stuff to do, but. It's going to go watch the UConn basketball game tonight. That's going to be. Well, I'm probably not going to watch the game at all, but, you know. Sorry. I didn't go to. When I went to UConn, I never went to a game. Not one. All right, RKT, you going for round two here? You going for thirds at that 15 area? Come on, bud. I know you want to do it. I know you want to do it. I know that's what you want. Kava back up there. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Ankles too. No, that's set at 250. 250 likes on the stream for that. It's not that hard. You guys just got to hit the like button. It costs you nothing to do it. It helps me out a boatload. Uh, JZXN. Uh, it's probably something I haven't seen before, but I can take a look. What is this? It's probably a penny sock, isn't it? Yeah. It's set up really nicely here, but I don't know what happened here. This is just... I don't know what this is. So I'd probably just say no, just in general, if I don't know it. Um, I'm probably going to stay away. Kaba moving back up. Uh, it's up nicely. I don't really know what this is, though. What is this? Franchising operating retail stores that sell new energy vehicles. So they're a seller of EVs. It's kind of strange, but all right. Where's Amazon? How's that looking? Hmm. Chilling. Yeah, that's not really normally what I would look at to trade random Philly. Kava, come on, get get your butt back above there. RKT, come on, buddy. Get going. All right. <laughs> Kava back to 71. Maybe we get round two. Maybe we get round two on some Kava here. That would be really nice. Spy has been your favorite intraday set. Oh, yeah. I'm also, I'm probably going to be doing stuff for the rest of the day after the stream, but I'm probably going to look at what I sent you at 3.30. I want to see how they move. Because I, I think there's something there. There's like a, I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, well, if premiums are so deflated you technically could sh could just strangle the last 30 minutes of the day with certain risk parameters uh, and nail it. Going to the Dominican Republic next week, hopefully you don't uh, make it back. Oh, the oh, I'm the best. All right, I'm the best ever at people offering all-you-can-eat, all-inclusive anything and then just winning. The restaurant or wherever we're going never wins. They will never win. The only time that they do win is because I also label the club when I go uh, as all you can drink. So they win then. But other than that, nobody's winning. My friends and I single-handedly caused a, a restaurant to stop offering a deal, an all-you-can-eat Taco Tuesday deal. 
they're not winning. I'm telling you right now. You guys might see me on the stream here and be like, oh, he's small. I'm like 6'2 and can eat like a crazy person. And so can my friend. You give me an, and then an all you can drink? I don't think any of you guys have seen me get after it before. They're not winning. <laughs> you can't win. I'm banned. No, I'm not banned. They just had to change the rules and then they no longer offered the same deal. And now they don't even serve food really. So, <laughs> but they're also a club. So it's different. It's like, they're still open. I didn't put anybody out of business. They just now no longer offer food. But the food was awesome. That's the thing I'm kind of upset about at this place. The food was epic. And they were just like, nah, no more. And I'm like, those burritos were good. Uh, has anybody traded futures on Weeble yet? I haven't. Um, I think I just forgot to get on the wait list there. But I might load one up, play around with it when it's there. But I already have all my accounts set up. It's just going to be a hassle to change it, you know? And I don't think there's like a web app too. I like using the web apps. I don't know. We'll see. I'll definitely play around with it. Market coming up. I mean, you got nine minutes. If you get a candle close above 53.13, you might you might make an attempt at all-time highs today. But it's just moving so slow across the board. There's no reason to do anything. Apple. I mean, you're probably going to know what I'm going to say. I'm probably going to say I'm not doing anything with it, but... Daily chart looks like it wants to get nasty to the downside. This thing just looks weak. This would have been the trade here, breaking below 175. That would have been so nice. A firm is trying for 38. Is it really? Oh, I kind of want to just leave a firm alone or or get shares in the long term. Or I still have to work through that thesis I was talking with you guys about yesterday. coin yeah i mean if you bought it off the retest here you're killing it that's at what 258 you just nailed it for nine dollars that's insane that's awesome man like you guys are crushing it man everybody that's taking advantage of all the uh all the education that i provide is is i would say much better off than they were before can I look at CCL? Yeah. And then you guys can let me know what you think about that too. A lot of you guys have been through the uh, the course curriculum and have been trading with it. Like, let them know. I don't hate it. I don't love it though. On CCL. It's a little too whippy here. I'd wait for this thing to tighten up a lot more. Kav is trying to get back above that 71 area. If this market starts to go, you might start to see like RKT, Kava, NEE would definitely get a little steam there too. Bro, it's literally your education. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah, I know. Most of you guys are trading the way I trade. But people, people are like, people on the outside are always like, what are they doing? What's going on? It's like, no, boom. That's not bad. I mean, if you wanted to front run that, I don't have a problem with it. You just have to risk less. Kava back above 71. Come on. Do it. Yeah, the Kavas are back up 70%. That's good. The RKT is only up 128. Uh, No lie, you uh on TikTok been carrying your mindset and strategy. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, I know a lot of people are coming over from uh, TikTok and Instagram. And hopefully you guys are seeing what like actual smart trading is like and not these other idiots out there. Uh, yeah, Kava is above 71. I like that. There we go. We're going to go for round two. It looks like it might want it. Cat, all-time high breakout. We could look at that. Cat's like a Home Depot, though. It's a tough one to get right. Ooh, this thing is... E it's not bad. It's not the best. It's just not. It's not. The, I don't even see one on here that I would really like. I mean, this sort of, but not really. 
RKT is a good example. This one, consolidation, boom. This one, consolidation, boom. This one, consolidation, boom. Consolidation, boom. Consolidation, boom. Like, I love the RKT trades. Yeah, here comes Kava ripping back up. Here we go. Uh, on your mastermind, do you go over duration on options expiries? Uh, sort of, yeah. I mean, it's in the courses too. Uh, the last two masterminds were great. Thank you, Daily Taylor. I appreciate that. Yeah, last night's was a little shorter because we went a lot longer on Tuesdays. Uh, M and M and M and M. I'm just gonna call it nice bounce off the Daily Ten. Yeah, I got stopped on that one. That's fine though. I mean, just didn't get it right. I mean, I thought I had this one. I mean, this was the break up here. This is the trade that I was in, looking for these levels up in here. It didn't play out. That's fine. That's why we nail when we nail Kava and RKT, we get to make everything back plus four. Uh, best teacher, learned so much from when you first started out. Real knowledge, one of one. I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you, guys. NEE, hello. Come on, get your butt back above 64. <coughs> when do premiums begin to inflate prior to earnings? Usually about two weeks before. Thanks for finally responding to me and sending you the link to the ebook. Oh, no problem, buddy. No problem. Yeah, if you guys want the free ebook and to and to get onto the free newsletter, just go to shortthevix.info and then we're good over there. I think I I may have to start paying. Like I have to pay a bunch of money every single month in order to do that for you guys. So you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, Kava flashing. What's something just moved? It might have been the NEEs. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, great week, man. Great week. A little slow at the beginning, but it, it almost feels like towards the end of the week, we've been really firing off recently. Apple and Tesla need to hold. I mean, these are just kind of flashing around. Kava coming back down, couldn't hold. RKT is just... I don't know if it's going to have the juice to get above 15 today. It's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot. NEE is making that move a little here, though. That's good. That one might take a little time to play out. Uh, if it starts getting closer to expiration, like next week, if we're not up at this level, I might roll them. Or I might just take the money and run. Like that, that is a possibility too. I just take the gains and be like, all right, well, nice little baby trade there. Because I don't know how these premiums move. Like that's the problem with this one. Like I haven't had enough experience trading this thing. This is the first time I've traded next era energy. So I don't know how these premiums are going to move. They could go nuts. Usually when I don't un really understand like and haven't seen how the premiums move on a stock like this and the spreads aren't that bad and the uh, they move really well. So I'm um, just kind of waiting to see how they're actually going to move. RKT trying, uh, Kava's trying to hold 71, but I would take that with a grain of salt. Because that thing can just flash around all over the place. Yeah, you got two minutes left on this 15-minute candle. Let's see what we got here. Oh, my God. We are 19 likes away from 100. Thank you, team. Uh, need to review and go deeper into the courses. You sell sometimes too early. Well, once you have your levels, Eddie, you're good to go. I mean, technically, I did sell the RKTs a little early here. But remember, they expire next week. So if I have the ability to make it free and with, with selling less than half of my position, I usually do that. Because I was expecting those contracts to be up at where they were like the over 200% when we got up to this level. Well, they weren't. So maybe I, if we end up getting up to those higher levels, yeah, maybe I missed out on some additional gains, but I still have the vast majority of the position still there. And I'm not going to sell all of it up here. I'm just going to sell like a quarter or a third of what I have left and then target probably like 1660. So I'd have this. So that's what I would really be looking for on the RKT. What happened to the days of over a thousand people in here? Oh, here's what happened. I told everybody that their favorite stock was about to collapse. Uh, and then it did. <laughs> and then they got mad at me. It's fine. We get 900,000 views on TikTok and like 500,000 views on Instagram videos. It doesn't matter. I do these streams for you guys so that you guys can learn. Here comes Kava again. Let's see. It's hilarious when you're like dead on correct about a stock and then people send you death threats and then they get mad at when you're right. It's like, what are you mad about? I told you. <laughs> yeah. 
And then the stock issued a boatload of shares, just like I said they were going to. Let's see. Uh, Bitcoin has 9.5 billion in options expired tomorrow. Wait, what? 9,000 views? No, 900,000 views. Am I friends with him? I've never been friends with him. That dude is weird. First time I met him, that dude was always a weirdo. I was like, sounds like when people were they're like, ooh, just something about it. It's weird, man. Here comes Kava moving. Uh, the truth on Ape for me was that it made you further legit in the real deal. Yeah. Yeah, how it's not 9,000 views, 900,000 views. <laughs> like, did he weird? Oh. Just weird. Here comes Kava. Yeah. Like, <laughs> do you think I, people are like, people are like on like uh, David bought Yin today? Oh, welcome. Welcome to the party. Yeah, I mean, he's got a better average than I do, but I mean, I'm I, I need to get some more cash to get more. People are always like on Twitter, they're like, you fell off. And I go, damn, maybe I need to get a million views on TikTok in order to not fall off. <laughs> AMD on the daily. I don't like it yet. It's still under those EMAs. It needs to break trend and then consolidate here. And then I just sit here and call out multi hundred and thousand percent plays for you guys and then just hand them to you to those of you guys that are in the Swing Kings course. Simple as that. Last week we had DraftKings. 1,400%. There you go. What about Target? Uh, let's take a look at Target, actually. No, nah, not for me. It's just slow grind up. NEE is trying to get back above 64 here. I like that. Daddy of Swing Kings. I Kava's holding 71. It's just got to get a little bit more juice on it. And then we're good to go. Then we are good to go. Yeah, those are up 75%. That's a good start. Uh, the free RKTs, I was selling those above 200% earlier, but they're at 128% now. The NEEs are up 41%, and the, the shares trade is up 7.7%. That's really good. People say you falling off is like saying LeBron is falling off. Yeah, pretty much, man. Like, <laughs> we get new people in here all the time. It's a slow day, though. Nothing's been happening. Like, it's not like there's an event or anything. Like, ES is doing absolutely nothing. We're just sitting here letting our swings cook. Come on, Kava, do it. RKT is struggling, man. It's just trying hard to get above there, and it can't do it. Mara going for another 10% day. Yeah, I just, it wasn't, it wasn't giving me the clean setup that I wanted on it. I just didn't, like, it just wasn't there. ES is literally just trapped in this zone. Help, get me out. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, what up, Ryan? How you doing, buddy? Let's see. Dude, these freaking swings have been just so dirty. Same. Uh, again it needs to get a candle close above i mean ideally these highs because then you're above this zone and then you could go run it those uh these all-time highs back in here but i don't know this market's just slowly flickering around nothing going on nothing me just hanging around <laughs> All right, Kava making its way back down to 71. RKT hanging around 1480. We got NEE trying to make that move over 64. It just can't quite get there yet. Yeah, Kava flashed down below 71. People just hate being wrong about something they deeply believe in. Yeah, but like also, like who else is then going to teach you all this stuff too? It's like, it's crazy. Am I traveling today or tomorrow? Tomorrow and Saturday. 
Busy weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Busy weekend. It's all right, though. Mayor's moves due to the option change somewhere about 10% of the open interest on calls at two. Really? Yeah, but like, isn't Bitcoin running too? Isn't Bitcoin running? Yeah, I think Bitcoin's running a little bit. So, I mean, that's kind of also why it's moving up as well. I mean, I don't even know what else we're going to... I think we're going to be sending out the swing list to you guys on Monday and not Sunday. Just because we have PCE tomorrow when the markets close. Like, yeah, we'll see what the bond market reacts to it, but... We're not going to see what individual stocks do. So I'm going to want to see what Monday looks like. And then I'll send you guys the swing list probably Monday evening. Uh, the watch list, or not the watch list, the, the newsletter will probably be sent out to you guys on Sunday as well. Like I'll have some time probably in airports on the airplanes to, to write that up for you guys. Flying home? No. Driving home, flying to Florida. Just going to be miserable, but it'll be fine. Just the traveling. SBF says he's sorry. <laughs> The interesting thing about SBF though in FTX is I heard a rumor that like the people that lost money on FTX might be getting back like double what their investments were just because of the way the crypto market's been if they were actually holding things somewhere else. So like if that's the case, are they still going to keep him in jail? Like are they still going to keep him in jail if that's the case? I don't know. I Like yeah, he still committed a crime and there's like technically victims, but... If the victims end up getting back double what they lost, isn't that like a resolution? I don't know. I don't know. That's a weird one. It's just a rumor, though. I don't know if that's actually true. He could get a reduced sentence. Oh, okay. I don't know. I mean, he still completely screwed everything up. Like, you got, you, you, we're not getting past that. Like, <laughs> SBS still screwed everything up. Uh, Kava, all right, here, NE, Shine, RKT. All right, man. I mean, we're looking solid. I think I'd be cool with it if if you guys lost money in FTX, got your money back, and then like double your money, and then he gets let out. The problem is, though, is that you'd almost have to like bar him from starting any businesses because that effective altruism nonsense is just, I think it's the dumbest thing in the world. You make money to give it away. I don't, I don't get that. Uh, that that will never make sense to me. That, that doesn't make sense. Uh, the judge said he misled them and lied, so he's getting charged. Well, correct. That's what the charges are going to be. But like, so what? He'd get like a fraud charge? Because if you look at like the way things are, like the, the way that sentencing goes with like um, the amount of money that was lost, if the money is no longer lost and it's, it gets returned to investors, well, then that chops off a boatload of whatever that potential sen sentence would be. Even though, obviously, the court case was very damning against him. You know? So I don't know what they're going to do with that. Boring! See you next week, buddy. You want consequences for SEF, but you were an investor and got twice as much back, you'd be okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I haven't looked into it enough to to see what's kind of going on now with it or, or kind of what's been going on. But that was just a rumor I heard that I thought was pretty interesting that that was a possibility that investors could be getting back a lot more money than they lost. I don't know, though. Don't take it from me. If you guys lost money on FTX, go talk to your legal, whatever you're doing. I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe yes, we have to get to hang out with Diddy soon. Dude, those memes are so funny. The Diddy memes are hilarious. Like where he's like the where he's like the one they made him like dressed as the Riddler. <laughs> Got me so good. Oh, let's see. RKT is just struggling below 15. But STV said I get double back. I have no idea. I'm not the I'm not in charge of the legal team over here. I got no clue what's gonna happen. It's just a rumor I heard. I'm relaying the rumor to you. That's what we're doing here. All right. Uh, Kava's looking good, man. I mean, that thing kind of bouncing back up. Oh, I think it converged. I think it did it. Nah, it still didn't. But if you can break above these highs here, what's the 7148? I mean, that's my skill out there. SDV knows all? No, I know a lot. I do not know all. 
Yeah, we're, oh man, the NEEs are now up 43%. The Kavas are back up 80%. The free RKTs are up 121%. That's good. If those really get going, that would be fun. Heard it through the lizard vine. That is what happened there. That is what happened there. A yes is peaking. Dude, what? If anybody's trying to day trade this right now, well, what's wrong with you? You need to seek help. Seek help. Kava, what are you doing? <laughs> this thing just flashes around so much. It's insane. NEE is trying. Uh, RKT is not doing it. Let's see. How are we looking? Still great. The lizard. Dude, everybody calls me a lizard. I'm just good at this. Now I'm making all of you guys good at this too. Let's see. Ralph, you too, buddy. You too, man. Oh, let's see. I just, I mean, it's getting, this one's getting there. I bought this like around here yesterday, like 63. Cough up. <laughs> this thing just doesn't know what it wants to do. It has no idea. Market coming up. Kava's like, I don't know. RKT, kind of the same deal here too. What's TLT doing? TLT's moving. That should be helping RKT. It's just not yet. It is not yet. Ooh, hold on. This thing's moving. This thing is moving here. Here we go. Did I talk about Uber already? I have not talked about Uber already. What's up with Uber? Uh, eh, daily looks terrible. Uh, weekly, I'd maybe be in. The weekly, I'd be interested in. I'd be interested in a weekly time frame setup on this. NEE back above 64. There we go. This one's looking good. If this thing can break yesterday's high and start to get real spicy here, it's 1027. All I need is 1064. I mean, that is big. That's a big percentage move, but we'll see what happens with it. Palo Alto. Uh, uh, we can take a look. This one I was kind of interested in, but I don't think it really... Nah, this thing's really... This thing, I need... Oops. Oh, shoot. I moved that. Um, I want... I just moved that alert. I don't know where that was. That's fine. I don't really need it. But uh, for Palo Alto here, like this thing, in order for me to want to take something to the long side, it needs to really break to the upside after this nonsense, after everybody was like, Nancy Pelosi bought it. And then like, you know, like people are just always going to lose their mind when they see that Nancy Pelosi buys something. And then boom, Nancy and everybody else are down. Didn't you hit Palo Alto last week? Uh, downside, maybe. I don't know. I don't think I did. I think I might have tried it and then nothing. I don't know, though. I don't think I did. Kava back above 71. NEE looking good above 64. Where's RKT? Is that back to 1480 yet or no? Nope. 1477. Disappointment to its bloodline. That's your brother. He always tells me what Pelosi buys. It's so dumb. I mean, it's not a terrible investment strategy, but you, like you got to know, like you're probably going to be holding that for a long time. She's not day trading or swing trading. She's investing. Definitely not with any inside information. You know, definitely not. Nancy Pelosi would never do that. Nobody in Congress would ever do that, guys. That would be, that would be bad, right? If I was there, I would do it, but they don't, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? If they're not going to get in trouble and then like buy a bunch of stocks that they have inside information on, of course they're not doing that. <laughs> of course not. They would never do that. <laughs> oh man. All right, guys. I think we're going to wrap it up for today. Again, for all you guys sitting on the sidelines that want to get access to the, the best trading education that exists on the market right now. Um, here's the link to get 50% off to all the courses, the swing Kings course, the day trading mastery course. Um, 
Wayne, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, so there's that link right there for you guys. Again, uh, we've had a pretty awesome week. Still looking to see if that Kava can get going there. The NEE is looking all right. The MSOS is looking good. We've had it now. I know you guys have had an absolutely insane week too. Um, and again, for all of you guys that are hopping into the courses, if you guys have any questions on anything, just shoot me a message on Instagram, Twitter, and I will always be around to, to get back to you guys, answer your questions, and, and make sure that you're understanding the things that you need to uh, in order to effectively implement these strategies. So team, I will see you guys on Tuesday, Tuesday, check, check Tuesday, um, because I will be traveling all over the place. So team, I will see you later. Peace.